What's up, YouTube? This is Mathwiz97, and welcome back to my SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 General Manager Mode. It's a big fight feel for this week's edition of SmackDown, because things are about to get serious. I might actually need to, to boost MVP's popularity a bit, unfortunately, just because with the situation with Crime Time, MVP might not make it into the world title match, which would... I guess at that point, I could still throw Cena in there. It doesn't really work, but just to get rid of his morale issues, it might have to happen that way. I mean, ideally, I won't, but that option's on the table at the very least. So, we do have people who want shots at championships. Um, Contract-wise, ooh, Sabu's got two weeks, but we're still okay. I don't necessarily have to extend that now. Actually, maybe I should before they win the tag titles. If they win the tag titles, you know what? I'll give you three months, Sabu. I don't see you going anywhere. Kalu is going to be pretty secure. And Kali's got... Oh, Kali doesn't have that much of a contract, but oh well. I did it. I did it. It happened. I say we got a couple weeks before this, this goes down. But yeah, we got Carlito, who's not looking too great. I mean, loss after loss, that'll do that to you. Matt Hardy, yeesh. He's in a similar boat, similar predicament. Eh, man. So I guess I can... Well, Nitro, he's been impressive, so... I, 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 I kind of want to just save Carlito's reputation so I can book him in this week's show. So I'll have him do... Eh, no, I don't really feel like he's earned it, though. I guess we'll do... No, we'll do the website interview with, uh, you know, one final clock in with, we'll just do Kali so he can, so he can, uh, measure up to the other guys a bit better. So we're going to interview him as he gets pre prepared for the, the guaranteed title mat, tag title match that's coming up. You know what? Yeah, I, th I'm pretty committed to doing this, this champion versus champion match now, even if it's not like the best idea, because a lot of other people want title shots, but... For Nitro, I feel like it's time. He's not going to be defending the title at SummerSlam. I feel like it's time that Nitro got the opportunity to move up, to move up a level, to move up into the, the big boys league, as it were. What's his winning streak right now? I think Nitro, he's picked up a couple of wins in a row. Three, that's not bad. But uh, doesn't quite measure up to the 15 match winning streak of Umaga. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. Um, but yeah, we're definitely gonna do the, the website interview. Gotta hype up Nitro, because he has been, I mean, unstoppable as the Cruiserweight Champion. Nobody can touch him. And beyond that, we'll just do standard autograph signing. We'll give one to Chavo, I think was at 69. He was down below 70. So we'll let him have one. And we're gonna do an autograph signing for MVP. So I gotta, I gotta give him a little something to try to, try to catch up. SummerSlam is so close, so close. But let's see how Raw did. Three and a half. No, this is their week to come back. Oh, no. So we got Batista beating Kenny Dykstra. Helms lost to Candice this week. That match happened. Rey Mysterio pulling double duty and retaining both titles. That's the mark of a great champion, man. Yeah, if Umaga somehow loses to Nitro this week, then... um. Yeah, then Mysterio is definitely going to get that number one spot. Because two wins back-to-back, -back, defending two titles, that's going to be tough to top. The only way would be that, obviously, if Umaga wins. Because 16 wins in a row, I still think is going to trump that. Because Umaga's already got the upper hand. But damn. Damn, Mysterio's a workhorse over on Raw. Good for him. Good for him. You know, Triple H... It's nice to see that Triple H gave up that top spot. He was the WWE Champion, the World Heavyweight Champion for so long... He said, you know what? I'll take a step back. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll work with Mysterio. I'll, uh, he, maybe, maybe Triple H has taken sort of the, the Ric Flair mentor role, which doesn't really work because Mysterio, I think, has been wrestling about as long, if not longer than Triple H. I mean, not counting, re not counting real life because obviously Mysterio still works pretty regularly as far as I'm aware when he's not injured, of course, um. I don't know what I was getting at with that, but yeah. Triple H, he's, he's supporting Mysterio from underneath. Maybe just so he can 
so he can overthrow him later. That, that conniving Triple H. And ECW got a three star. So, hey, you know what? Even it, oh, and Stone Cold, new ECW champion. So big things are happening on the other shows. But honestly, as long as we're, like I said, as long as we're still gaining a little bit of, of a fan support, a fan boost, it doesn't really matter who has the upper hand with these between these two brands, just as long as we're gaining something. So this week, this week is going to be big. Should the main event be for the tag titles? Do they have the popularity to pull that off? They might not. But we did the normal tag match before. I think we're going to do a hardcore match because that's, that's Sabu's thing. Of course, it's... I mean, I know it's not actually his thing because for whatever reason, match specialties got nerfed. So I just don't have them. Because Crime Time, even even Crime Time, they had a couple of defenses in hardcore matchups. So eh, this could work, but the game doesn't want me to have it. Because match specialties just die, apparently, if you don't. I, I don't know. But yes, hardcore tag team matchup. Tag team titles on the line. Kalu versus Crime Time. It's happening. And of course, we have to hype that with an interview. Let's give the interview to... Uh, let's give it to Kali again. Wait. I gotta be careful of this. Because there is MVP to consider. I don't want MVP to get overshadowed by whichever team wins this matchup. Which, granted, I think if Crime Time wins, then it's it's gonna happen anyway. MVP's not gonna get in that world title match. But, uh... uh I'm gonna... I'll try it. And then, yeah, we're gonna have that United States Championship matchup, and we're gonna have Nitro's rival be ringside. Actually, no, 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 we're not doing that. And I think I want to give Nitro a bit of an advantage here, because he's got the, Umaga's got the size advantage. So Umaga, he's gonna put the title on the line in the very matchup that he first won the title in, a ladder match. This will play more into Nitro's benefit, as Nitro is, you know, a cruiserweight, so the ladder match would fit him better. So Nitro, he's been given the opportunity by Umaga to really prove himself in this environment. We'll see if Nitro can step up. We'll see if Nitro can become a dual champion and defeat the undefeated Umaga. That that's going to be a matchup for the ages. And you know, if Umaga wins here, then we can we're still going to do our champion versus champion match with Edge later, assuming that Edge obviously retains his championship. Uh, but that's that's still waiting in the wings. We're still building towards that. And you know what? We got to have an interview. We have to interview Johnny Nitro because forget the you know what? Yeah, we're not advertising this week, which reminds me, I forgot to check last week's things. Financials. That's what they're called. Merchandise Still less than the advertising promo, but it's, I think it's still slowly increasing, so we just gotta keep working with that. And we did profit last week, so that that's always a benefit. Oh boy, so we've got two title matches on the card for this week's show. Oh wait, I can't do the interview, because I have to spend the, suspend the rivalry. You know what? That rivalry's got, what, two, maybe three weeks behind it, two weeks? I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna worry about that rivalry. It it can die. That's that's fine. It, what really is it gonna? What am I gonna lose from losing a two week rivalry? Not much. So instead, um, for now I'll throw together a triple threat. We'll just have Chavo and Punk and Jeff, cause somebody's got to be there to step up for the to step up to challenge Nitro for the cruiserweight title. So we'll have these three face off. Should I add a stipulation to this as well? Let's do TLC. Let's up the ante. This week's show has to be big. I mean, we're going into the pay-per-view. We're only going to have one match at SummerSlam. So this, in theory, is our pay-per-view. In a way. So, I mean... Not quite the same stakes as a pay-per-view. I mean, this match has had the pay-per-view build. This one, not so much. But, you know, it's it's a, it's a good chance to experiment. to To try something different. So we got to do something with Edge and Booker, definitely. You know what? Maybe we could do a weird, a weird tag team alliance, which would be weird. But maybe I'll have to go with that. Because I gotta, I gotta get Booker and MVP a win. I gotta get a win this week. It, it, it has to happen. 
and Edge, he was ringside last week, so Edge can afford the loss before the pay-per-view. That, that, that'd be perfectly fine. So, for now, tentatively, I'm gonna schedule a tag team match. We're gonna have Edge and John Cena up against King Booker and MVP. You know what, honestly, this might just be better off as a main event. Because it's got the popularity there. This one's got the rivalry and the stipulation. But I somehow, I mean, it got the three and a half before as a normal tag, so it might get a four. I'm going to have faith. I'm going to have faith in my tag team boys. I'm going to have faith that they that they pull in a bigger rating than the main event guys. Because this has, ugh, ugh. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Maybe if I get lucky, they pull in the same amount. Like maybe this does three and a half. This does four. They both do four. Hopefully they both do four, because that, that would be great. And then I have a bunch of guys left over. I have, what, six people here? We've got the rivalry with Matt and Regal that doesn't really have to go on any longer. I mainly just did that as a filler feud anyway, so that doesn't have to happen. Then we got Carlito, because Masters is a floater. Henry's a floater. Uh, we do Carlito versus Kane, finally. Finally get the payoff to that. I might just do that. That might be the final match for this week's show. Oh, uh, no, Carlito versus Kane. We've been building up to it. This is our pay-per-view show, basically. So might as well just do that, I'm thinking. And then, yeah, so we'll lose, we'll lose two rivalries this week. This was really never going to go anywhere, so that's fine. This, that's fine. We don't really need the rivalry for that. Um, so that'll continue, that'll continue, this will continue, and yeah, that'll continue. Then we got Left Masters, Henry. Yeah, so we'll have a couple of guys not make the show this week, but I think that's fine. We got a lot of high, we got a, a lot of like high risk stipulation matchups on tap for this week's show, so. Having a couple guys in the reserves might be might be for the best. Because otherwise, what would I do? I mean, I'm not going to have Kane. You know what? Or, or what we could do. Let's put... Because Hardy could use a win. So if I did the, the reverse... You know what? We're not going to do... We're not going to give that payoff just yet. Because I've been slow burning this one for, you know, up to this point. So instead, Kane is going to be scheduled for a regular match. Do I want to put him against Regal, keep keep Regal's momentum going, or do I want to give Matt the win? I think I'm going to put Regal in here, because he's got the higher popularity. So Kane's going to be scheduled for a match with William Regal. Carlito's going to show up, play some distractions, and then that'll, you know, that'll really set up their match for next week. That's what we'll do. I like this. This match card, we're going all in. And uh, let's let's see how the cookie crumbles. Let's see how this how this goes. Let me just double check, make sure I'm not killing any rivalries I don't want to kill. That's fine. That's fine. We're good. So let's confirm. TLC match. We're gonna simulate, and the winner, the person who will go on to challenge Johnny Nitro for the cruiserweight title is CM Punk. CM Punk, the bastard, did it. He pulled the win out of the bag when he needed it the most. He finally got it. Good on him. He's still alive for now. And we got Regal versus Kane. Carlito at ringside. No! Kane got the win! That was not supposed to happen. That was the opposite of what I wanted. So apparently Carlito coming down to ringside. It backfired. Did not work for him. But we're still building towards the thing next week. And this matchup, duh. I'm going to leave it to the computer. Because, I mean, the other two we're going to be playing. I can't play this one. So I'm going to I'm gonna leave it to fate. No! Edge and Cena get the win. MVP, he has failed. Booker has surpassed him for now. And I guess this will be a different way to set up the betrayal. Because MVP, he just, he just flopped. He's not getting that world title match. He didn't do it. So, uh, Cena, I guess he's gonna be in the world title match this Sunday. We're gonna have a triple threat, Edge, Cena, Booker. That, get ready for that. That's gonna happen. 
And that, that's kind of unfortunate for MVP, but you know, maybe, maybe somehow he makes it in with a crime time loss. It, doubtful, but maybe. But first, the United States Championship is on the line. Cruiserweight champion Johnny Nitro stepping up into the big boys league. Let's see if he can get it done. Johnny Nitro, this is the opportunity he's been waiting for. All of his efforts in the cruiserweight division, defending the championship time and time again. It's finally gonna pay off for him here tonight as he steps up. His opportunity at the United States Championship, it's right here, right now. But if he wants to become a dual champion, if he wants to move up into the heavyweight division, he's gonna have to go through the monster, the undefeated beast, the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga. 15 wins in a row. Nobody can stop this guy. But Johnny Nitro, is he going to be the man to do it? Johnny Nitro certainly has been impress impressive in the cruiserweight division. But tonight, this is a whole new challenge for him. It is a ladder match, so he's got the opportunity to fly around the ring, to scale the ladders, pull out some high-risk moves. But will that be enough? Or will Umaga once again retain his coveted United States Championship? This would be a true, not really a true underdog story for Nitro, but he certainly is the underdog going into this matchup because no matter how impressive he has been as the Cruiserweight Champion, nobody, and I mean nobody, has been nearly as impressive as the Samoan Bulldozer Umaga. 15 wins in a row. This man is undefeated. Nobody's been able to pin this man. Nobody's been able to take that United States Championship away from him. And of course, it was at Judgment Day in this very same environment, a Fatal 4-Way ladder match. That is when Umago first captured the United States Championship. That has when the era of Umaga began, this era of destruction. But you live by the ladder, perhaps you die by the ladder. Let's find out. Umaga pointing to the United States Championship, telling Nitro, you're not taking that from me, but Nitro, Nitro not backing down. Nitro getting right in the face of Umaga. The referee rings the bell. And this matchup is underway. Oh, but straight, a straight shot by Umaga. Oh, he went to shove him down, but Nitro, Nitro, showing some fight, some determination at the start of this matchup. Float over neck breaker, taking down Umaga. Of course, this is a ladder matchup. No pinfalls, no submissions. The only way to win is to, oh, climb to the top of the ladder. And certainly, failed risks like that from Nitro are not gonna do him any favors if he wants to try to climb that ladder. But so far, he's able to knock Umaga over the top rope to the floor as he throws up a pose to the crowd, but oh my god. Umaga just swept out the legs from under him from the floor. I mean, he just face planted Nitro without much effort. And this is usually how the match goes. Umaga starting to turn the tables into his favor, wrestle his style of the match. Oh, as Nitro swung down, dropped with that arm drag. But Nitro back to his feet, able to shrug him off, but Umaga, no. Nitro shrugs him off yet again. But Umaga, he's a stubborn one. He's going to continue to go at him. But Nitro continues to counter. Nitro showing some defiance early on, but usually, you know, no matter how much defiance you show in the beginning, oh, Umaga will snuff that fight out of you. Vicious Samoan drop by Umaga. And Nitro trying to get to his feet, but Umaga sizing him up. Oh, Shining Wizard. Straight to the skull and quickly, this matchup is going from bad to worse for Johnny Nitro. As Umaga trying to keep up the pressure, Nitro managing to shrug him off. Oh, but no. Umaga just shoves him right back down. And now Umaga, Umaga, swinging him around like a rag doll. Umaga, man, I mean, that Umaga, he is, he is just a machine out there. I never said that. As Johnny Nitro dropped down in the center of the ring, Umaga gonna go to the second rope. And I mean, how quickly has Umaga turned the tables in this matchup? Oh, diving headbutt. Diving headbutt by Umaga. And I mean, Johnny Nitro, I mean, at this rate, this matchup is gonna go down just like all the rest of them. Oh, as he gets rocketed into the corner by Umaga. Umaga just decimating Nitro. And much like John Cena two weeks ago in that first blood matchup, Nitro might meet a quick end in this matchup. 
I mean, it might be quick, but it certainly will not be painless. There is no such thing as a painless match with Umaga. Usually, you get the option of the quick and painful way, but that there is no quick and painful or quick and painless. You know, I try to I try to say clever things. I try to be smart. You know, clever play on words doesn't always work out. But right now, things are well. Nitro's trying to make things work out for him, but again, Umaga just scoops him up. Just scoops him up like he's like he weighs nothing. And Umaga all oh, straight into the turnbuckle and down to the canvas with a power slam. Umaga is just massacring Johnny Nitro right now. And he's looking to set up that ladder. He's looking to put this match up to bed. Wait a minute, no. Umaga, he had the ladder. He had the ladder set up, but he stopped. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Good God, Umaga saw Nitro was moving, and he, sh he just struck him with that ladder. Umaga trying to figure out where he wants to place this thing. But Nitro whipped straight into the corner. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Umaga might have gone in for too much. Nitro counters with the reverse DDT. Johnny Nitro drops Umaga with the reverse DDT, and now look at Nitro. Nitro's climbing up the ladder. Nitro's got one hand on the title. He's got a hand on that on that United States Championship, but Umaga's going right up there to going right up to meet him. Oh, what a shot! What a shot by Umaga! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Superplex to the floor. Nitro's done. Nitro's done. He just got dropped on his neck. All the way from the top of the ladder. Oh, but Umaga missed. Umaga tried to grab the title, but he missed. And Johnny Nitro, he's still down. Umaga, I mean, I thought that this matchup was going to... What is he doing? Umaga, he's setting up that ladder in the corner. Nitro's managed to get back to his feet. I mean, come on, Umaga. Why not just try to climb the ladder? I mean, it might not have worked the first time, but clearly all Umaga knows is punishment. Oh, snake eyes right on that ladder. Umaga with snake eyes using the ladder in place of the turnbuckle. And now Umaga's got another ladder. Umaga's got another one. Meanwhile, Umaga's got... No, wait, counter. Nitro able to counter. And Umaga's trying to fight his way out of this. But Nitro's got him. Look at Nitro. Hurricanrana, Nitro, you gotta fight. Nitro, you gotta fight to survive. You can see how much damage Umaga has dished out. Nitro, his ribs are on fire right now. Oh, God! And that certainly is not gonna do him any favors. Umaga with a vicious spear. Might have broken Nitro in half. As Umaga was setting up that ladder, but he sees Nitro's getting back to his feet. Oh, look out, look out. Johnny Nitro, head over heels to the floor. Nitro's out. Umaga disposes of him, takes out the trash. And now to the top of the ladder. Umaga's got both hands on the title. Umaga's looking to rip that title down from its its holster there. But wait a minute. Nitro's climbing the ladder. Nitro's climbing the ladder. And Umaga, he, he heard him. He saw he was coming. But Nitro's trying to strike. Nitro's trying to fight back. Come on, Nitro. You got to fight. You got to fight. Umaga and Nitro trading shots back and forth on top of this ladder. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nitro's got him. Nitro from the top. Neckbreaker. A neckbreaker off the top of the ladder. Umaga's down. The Samoan bulldozer is down, but Nitro, climb the ladder, climb the ladder. What are you doing? Nitro, he, he should have climbed the ladder there. I don't know why he didn't. Perhaps he didn't think that'd be enough to put Umaga away because Umaga was starting to stir. Oh, no, no, no. Not into the ladder, not into the ladder. Oh, God. A choke slam off that top rope, straight into that ladder. And I mean, come on. This is... I mean, this is getting pretty ugly. Nitro, he had his big rally. He had his opportunity. Oh, God! But another shot from Umaga. Umaga's just too much. That neck breaker, if there was ever a time for Nitro to, to climb the ladder, to capture the U.S. title, that was his moment. But he couldn't do it. And now Umaga is going to rip down that United States Championship. Wait a minute. No, Nitro is still trying to climb. Nitro is still trying to climb. Umaga meets him with a strike. But Nitro is trying to fight, trying to fight for his life out there. But Umaga and Nitro, they just continue. It's a slugfest on top of that ladder. And I mean, Nitro, I mean, now Nitro's just taking punish. I mean, he's just taking punches. He's just taking punishment. 
Oh, wait, but Nitro, Nitro, able to strike. Umaga staggered, but Umaga managed to catch himself. And oh my god, this is a war. This is an all-out war on top of this ladder right now. And Umaga just continues to lay in a Nitro. Punch after punch after punch. How is Nitro? How is Nitro still able to keep his balance on that ladder? Is now Nitro. Nitro's striking. Nitro's coming back. Nitro with the rally, but Umaga... No. Nitro again. And again. No, but Umaga strikes back. And Nitro falls. Nitro off the ladder, perhaps for the last time. Umaga, both hands on the belt. Nitro's trying to fight. Nitro's trying to get to his feet. But it's not going to happen. Umaga rips it down. Umaga retains yet again. What a match. What a war. This was nothing like the first blood match we saw two weeks ago with John Cena. Tonight, Nitro came out here all guns blazing. And, I mean, he certainly brought the fight to Umaga. But even then, no matter how much of a how much of a fight Nitro could put up, no matter how impressive he was tonight, he was still no match for the Samoan Bulldozer. And even though it was a ladder match, which might have played more into Nitro's benefit, Umaga, just like he did at Judgment Day, was able to scale to the top of that ladder, pull down the United States Championship, and his reign, his dominant reign as champion, his winning streak extends to 16. All of it, the winning streak, the championship reign, it will continue for another day. And that matchup sure felt like a main event, but it's time for the real main event of the evening. This one for the WWE Tag Team Championships. And it'll be a hardcore match. You got the great Kali and Sabu, the newcomers from Monday Night Raw. Kalu, they've arrived to SmackDown. They defeated Crime Time a couple of weeks back. And now it is time that they get they cash in on their, their championship opportunity. They get their opportunity at the at the WWE Tag Team titles. They go up against Crime Time tonight in this hardcore environment. Certainly an environment that's gonna play to Sabu's benefit. But Crime Time, they're no stranger to hardcore matches either, so this matchup really is anybody's game. Will the reign of Crime Time continue? Or will Kalu manage to seize the day? Here we go. Hardcore match underway and straight out of the gate. Sabu launching himself at, at Shad. But Shad going after the big man, Kali. And now JTG. JTG looking to catch Sabu off guard. As they're... Oh, just like the just like in the six-man tag last week, JTG starting off with a jawbreaker. And I mean, hey, crime time. They did manage to... They were on the winning side of that six-man tag last week. So maybe that jawbreaker just a sign that... It, uh, you know, things could play out similarly tonight. Oh, but Kali just struck Shadow with the, the steel chair and out gets a shot on JTG as well. Meanwhile, JTG was busy going after Sabu. Kali gets whipped into the turnbuckle. Well, look at look at Sabu. Sabu's going after Shad. He's got Shad up on the top rope. Oh, this is not going to be good for Shad. Oh, sunset flip powerbomb off that top rope. Beautifully executed by Sabu. But now JTG. JTG going after Sabu, but Sab... Oh, God. Kali's already on a rampage. This is ridiculous. Meanwhile, Sabu... Oh, massive DDT just spiked JTG skull first into the canvas. And this one really is breaking down. I mean, that's what you'd expect out of a hardcore tornado tag team matchup like this. It won't take long for this one to get ugly. Is JTG whipped into the corner. And Sabu going to go up to the middle rope. Sabu, he's thinking Tornado DDT, and he got it. He got all of it. And now springboard leg drop. JTG pays the price. Oh, and now he's going after Shad, a DDT to Shad. Sabu, he's on a roll right now. He's going to the top rope. Could be looking to put this one away early. Moonsault, he connects. Hooks the leg, but immediately, immediately kicks out, does Shad. And what kind of a message does that send? What kind of a statement is that? Sabu caught Shad with his finisher and Shad shrugged it off like it was nothing. Although to be fair, this early in the matchup, perhaps Sabu, that was a wishful thinking on his part. But then again, if you give Crime Time the chance, you give them the time, they certainly will pull out a plethora of dirty tricks. So perhaps Sabu going for the early victory was a wise decision, although did not work out for him. Oh, jeez. JTG whipped into the turnbuckle, and now Shad and Kali stare at each other down. Kali with the DDT, spiking Shad face first into the into the mat. 
And Sabu's got a chair. JTG's got a sledgehammer. Oh, look out. Well, very smart move there by Shad to get out of the ring while Sabu's got a chair. Oh, but JTG, JTG's got the, the sledgehammer trying to take a shot on Kali, but Kali is just completely unfazed. And what is this man made of bricks? Sabu, I mean, Kali just shrugged that off like it was nothing. But meanwhile, there's a shot that Sabu, surely he was not going to shrug off. Oh, this is a nice kick to the leg there. Sabu trying to cut down the foundation of Shad. Oh, but that didn't work. That didn't work. Oh, geez. And a sledgehammer shot from JTG. Shad going to the top rope. I don't know if this is a smart decision. Kali back to his feet, but he got met. He got met with that elbow drop. Shad certainly didn't get all of it, but he got some of it. And now he's got the chair. Oh, Sabu able to duck underneath, though. Oh, look out, look out, look out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God. A guillotine with that steel chair. Shad, he is in a world of pain right now. Look at this. Roll up, roll up, roll up. One, two. No, oh, a kick out by Shad. Man, this one. I mean, we knew it was going to be intense. But, man. The guillotine with that steel chair. Shad now dumping Sabu to the outside. JTG, I think. JTG's got, oh, he's got, he's got Barbie. He's got the, the two by four wrapped in barbed wire. Kali, Kali's got another steel chair. And Sabu trying to roll out of harm's way. But uh, he's not having much luck against Shad here. Shad continues to shrug off everything he's thrown at him. There's a nice shot. Nice shot by Shad. Now it looks like Shad maybe thought he was going to go back inside the ring, but Sabu's not going to let that happen. Irish whip. Oh, and there goes Shad. Shad up against the barricade, but a counter. Counter by Shad. Not going to let Sabu go for what he was going for. Sabu, his skull bounces off the, the steel ring post that he just got whipped into. But Shad's going to go inside the ring. He's going to set his sights on Kali. Ooh, that might have been a bad decision. As Sabu just poked him right in the eye. Oh, and he nearly walked right into a steel. Oh, God. I don't know what just happened there. Sabu was thinking face buster. Kali was thinking steel chair shot. And uh, one of them connected. That's for sure. Not quite sure which one did connect, but one of them did. And I guess that's all that matters, right? Meanwhile, Shad, he's measuring, lining up an elbow drop. Straight to the heart of Sabu. JTG trying to cut down the big man Kali. I mean, certainly you got some severe size mismatches here. Massive spear by Kali. Down goes JTG. Sabu whipped into the corner. Sabu sees Kali with that 2x4 and he's backing out of there. Oh, it's Sabu trying to take a shot, but JTG just able to get out of there. Meanwhile, Shad comes in with a steel chair. Oh, but Sabu missed. Sabu missed. And now look at this. Everybody's got a weapon. JTG's got a sledgehammer. Sabu's got a chair. Kali. Oh, God. Sledgehammer shot to the midsection. Well, there goes the chair. Now it's two by four versus sledgehammer. There goes the sledgehammer. There goes the two by four. Now Shad's got the chair. Oh, is there's a sledgehammer shot by Kali. Down goes. Well, down goes Shad. There's a sledgehammer shot again by Kali. This time it's to JTG. And oh, no. Oh, no. Kali's on a rampage again. Look at everybody. Oh, but look out for Sabu. As Sabu's got something cooking here. Off the top rope, off the chair. Moonsault. Beautiful. Beautiful move there by Sabu. He's going to go in for the cover on JTG. Chair shot. One, two. Shad's busted open. And Kalu wins. Kalu get the win. And we have new tag team champions, ladies and gentlemen. Crime Time's reign has come to an end. At the hands of Sabu and the great Kali. So Kalu, a very quick, very quick impact here on SmackDown. They arrive, they defeat Crime Time in the, t in the their, inaugur their, not inaugural, their debut match. And then, just a few weeks later, they go on to capture the gold from the duo. And now they're at the top of the tag team division. And that's it. Umaga retains, but Crime Time do not. Kalu, your new WWE Tag Team Champions. A big win for them. We got a three and a half star show. Excellent. So we did we did beat one show, so that was a three star. Oh, that's right. I forgot this was a TLC match. Uh, that probably helped. 
So we had three star, three star, four star. Nice. Three and a half and a four star. So yeah, I should have given more faith to this matchup. I was originally going to switch these two, but I didn't know how Nitro would fare. But yeah, that, that did really well. So perhaps I shot myself in the foot with this week's show. I don't know how much this affects the ratings, having them mixed up like that. But you know, a cool down match. That, that, that should factor into the ratings. I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're coming up on SummerSlam. So, yeah, Raw had the three and a half. ECW had the three. And we also got three and a half. So, we're hanging in there. We are holding our own. And that's what matters. Five weeks on top. Yeah, thank you, Umaga, for that. Cross-branded pay-per-view. SummerSlam is fast approaching, and this will mark the first cross-branded pay-per-view of the year. The brands will not face off, but I will be interested in seeing which show puts on the best matches. The brand with the most fans before the pay-per-view will get the last match on the card. Good luck. So, of course, that's not us. That's going to be ECW. Uh, you've kept one of your superstars on the top of the Power 25 list for five weeks in a row now. And that is a good thing. This counts for something, you know. In your quest to become GM of the year, now go... Oh. Ah! The, the, sen the sentences. That was a comma. I thought it was a period. Oh, well. So, yeah, that, that's good. That's good. So, let's take a look at fan support. How do we do? We're still gaining some ground. We're, we're coming up there. Slowly but surely, we are we are gaining ground, and if ECW and Raw can keep, you know, keep playing musical chairs with that top spot, we can just slowly creep up on them. But maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's see how SummerSlam goes first. So yeah, Umaga still number one. I mean, these top four spots have not changed since July 28th. Yeah, ECW is ECW has had no luck. They can't breach that top four. They, they just can't do it. Triple H, Mysterio, they're too good on Raw. Edge and Umaga, they've been great. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And then we got Cena at, at 8, not 7. I can I can read. Uh, Booker at 10. Ka yep, Kalu, they they surpassed MVP. Uh, if MVP had won, maybe not, but it happened. That's that's a bit of a bit of a, a bit of a shame. Crime time didn't fall too far though, so that that's good to see. We got man Shawn Michaels. Ever since he won that ECW or lost the ECW title, rather, he's taken quite a hit. But Nitro at 18, Kane moves up, and Regal went down because he lost. Way to go, Regal! You had the chance. I was giving you a win, and you didn't take it. That's on you, man. That's on you. Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna have Edge, Cena, Booker. They're gonna face off. But Umaga, I mean, after that match. Umaga's gonna be the next challenger for the world title. It's happening. So then we got, yeah, Kane. Punk moving up, because Punk is gonna now be challenging Nitro for the Cruiserweight title at some point, because he did win the triple threat. And then, uh, okay, so nobody new has breached the, the power 15 here. Although Chavo and Jeff swapped, so bleh. That happened. And, uh, financials, we should still be doing okay. No, that was a net loss that week. We did go a bit extreme with the stipulations, and well, no, we did do the merchandise. Ha! Huh. I don't know, but yeah, not super great. Let's. Oh man, Carlito, 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 Carlito! We gotta save you, buddy. We gotta save you. Your popularity is going to the toilet. It's going down the drain. And yeah, six losses in a row. That'll do that, I suppose. So Cena wants to. Yeah, we got. We gotta do. We gotta do something about this. We gotta. We gotta fix this. Yeah, Kali, of course, wants a contract renegotiation. I did just give one to Sabu, so he's fine. What's Kali's popularity now? 81. Yeah, it's pretty solid for him. I guess Regal's still going to want that. Oh, that's right. No, because he wants a title shot now, not the contract. Yeah, neither of the Hardy Boys are doing very good. Man, the Hardy Boys, they've kind of disappointed in this series. I was hoping they could they could do more, but I don't know. Now that the tag title scene's been, been shaken up, Maybe, maybe the Hardy Boys could step up, because obviously the cruiserweight title picture is not working. Jeff had a, had a chance and he didn't do so well. Um, yeah, but we do have some I need to go ahead and negotiate here. So, crime time. I'm gonna keep them for another three months because I got a big storyline plan with them. Because uh, we got the MVP Booker thing going on, and then Masters. Eh, I'm not gonna extend your contract yet. I'll let it go a little longer. Just because you're still... I'm not super sold on the masterpiece. 
things have not been have not been working out so well for them. But we're gonna go ahead, hop into SummerSlam. So we got Mysterio versus Bret. Oof. Good luck retaining there, Bray. Ultimate submission match. Jeez. Yeah. ECW, great showcase there. And tag titles on the line again. Mysterio pulling double duty again. This man, he's the Iron Man. Like, what is with him? And the ECW title's not even on the line. So, ugh, ugh. Raw is going to be stiff competition. ECW, not so much. But yeah, we got our match. World Heavyweight Championship. Triple threat. And you know what? Let's make it hell in the cell. Let's make it hell in the cell. We got to go all out. We got to keep up with these guys. And unfortunately, it's in New York, so crime time would be good here, but I don't have the extra match to use them, so that's not happening. But yeah, we got Booker, we got Cena, we got Edge. Because I, yeah, MVP is not going to work. Yeah, that's a shame, but, you know, more fuel to the fire for the MVP Booker rivalry. Cena is going to get one last shot, even though he doesn't really deserve it. We just need the ratings, man. The ratings! So it's Edge versus Booker versus Cena. Hell in a Cell triple threat at SummerSlam. That's coming up next time. So thank you for joining me for this episode, and I'll see you for SummerSlam.